There we go. I am now live. I want to make sure OBS is recording. Yep, it is. If anyone wants to join us during the Mediterranean, we love to do a uh, little chat around the uh, milk of the house. We <laughs> <laughs> can't pronounce it all. I'm gonna go through our Yep. Yeah. Hi, Alan Grader, launching Cat 2 FM. It's on the 310, launching Cat 1 FM. It's a 3 launch. I try to remember to reset that before I start streaming, but I don't know what to do. You ought to, how to make it go away, right? Uh, I actually do not. I Right next to your brightness knob, on your, uh, just below your CNI, where it says normal to reject one, or REJ one, reject two. Just uh -huh. flip it down to reject one or two and flip it back up to the uh, Oh, that's neat. Alright, and I'm gonna go uh, a couple of waypoints. Roger. It takes over to Milk in the Nose. Probably a left turn. Roger. Oh, left. J Dog is here too. I didn't hear anything you just said. <coughs> no, just uh, the guy that was coming in. Oh, gotcha. I hope you tell him if he's out. Yeah, he's way out. <laughs> Looks like severe turn months. Is it? Or it was for me for a second there. Maybe it was like uh, rubber banding or something. Yeah, I got pretty bad. Terry ends all of a sudden too.
it's not even the same thing. Oh, I'm not sure the radar. I didn't have my rear view camera set. Yeah, my bad. I didn't hear anything you said. Oh, I, my uh, rear view camera was not set. Oh. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, Tack packs. External view, do you see your burners fluttering? Uh, no, here, I'll, I'll ease. Uh, 
like, I don't see him fluttering, but I'm gonna pull back from the power anyway. We don't need to go Mach 1. He's a little power. There we go. Or we're still burners. There we go. Are still fluttering? Ah, uh, no, now they over got steady for me. Alright, good. Yeah, I usually use this minimum burners up here. I will add power, like get through storms sometimes, you know, like that. Or like really, if it's shaking people around. Yeah, since so I'm out of the storm, lots of will decrease my ascent. Going yeah. back to minimum burners again. And you went to uh, went to heading hold. Uh, no. Ah. I oh, kind of. Basically, I uh, I flew over the airport, and then as we came back around to, to the turn, I just selected uh, a couple of PC in again. Oh, gotcha. So we're basically protecting our carrier and our. Uh, <laughs> In our airport. <laughs> oh, that was cool. Oh. I'll have to find it in my stream again. It'll be about, oh, about 13 minutes. A little less than. But uh, I had my clear up and I was looking over and I see the nose of your jet like slide up through my uh, clear pod or clear camera. I had to break out <laughs> that, uh, that turn earlier a minute ago. Uh oh, and it rolled out? Yeah. Ah, oh, shit, my That's bad. Huge one. Yeah, it Looking good. Scared to turn mine on on a combat air patrol. 
because I just know oh. I'm going to forget to turn them off. When I see a spike, my mind's going to be on the spike. <laughs> <laughs> you can't really see them from real far away anyway, can you? Uh, not really. But it is like part of a version, you know, like in real life you would want them off. True. I don't know if they would really have them off in like a, if they're flying formation like this. Man. Yeah, if, if this was real life and we were playing about my rules, you know, like, I, I'd probably keep mine off just because I'd, I'd be worried. That I'd be yeah. <laughs> Green does uh, get picked up the easiest, though, by the human eye. In fact, they look like green lightsabers. <laughs> Makes me think they might be able to be visible from the otherwise. Might be able to be visible from what? Uh, from a bit of ways. Oh yeah. I'm not sure how far, but I know in Iraq though the general rule was is if you're going outside the wire on actual like combat patrol, then, like it didn't matter if it was a light that you could only see from one inch away, we still wouldn't want it on us. <laughs> yeah. There's just nothing that gets them to So, like, did you drive with uh, headlights on or anything? Or? No, that's uh, just night vision. Yeah. The Humvees did have headlights, but yeah, they, I can't remember ever seeing them used. Mm -hmm. At least not overseas. Oh, my bad. Oh, you're fine. So, in uh, a couple targets. Or a couple waypoints.
If you grew up in Texas, you've heard someone older than you say, I remember when this was all fields. I heard someone say that earlier today. <laughs> Did you know what this used to be? <laughs> this here used to be a cornfield. <laughs> Coming right. Coming further right. A little. I've been doing these control in place. I'm just kind of making it up. Yeah. We have a lot of people that say that to us. You know what this used to be? A gas station. How'd you know? Because every old person tells us that. <laughs> it's like a gas station pizzeria. Sky safe. Calm and safe. Dog zero two one. What's that? Oh, just another player is in here. 
guessing which one is that on Bob Guy Radar yet. I don't recognize the name. I mean, he could, but yeah, it would be our first encounter with him. spawned in another place or wherever the other guy was flying. That is so weird. Huh. I feel like I'm in a little bit of a bank. Like yeah, I was about to say, I, I always look, I always go with heading. Like, I don't leave it at FDH and roll or anything like that. Your wings would love you for doing it. Like, walking on something. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying, like I'm in heading hole. Uh, so type in, uh, okay, so now 5 and you're in the heading. Do what? Uh, type in 7 5 and you're in the heading. So then that way, see how on your nose? Whoa. Shoot. Hold on. It, it's all good. It, you just want to, you don't want to fight it or anything. You just want to type it in and hit enter and let it do its thing. At this point though you probably want to do seven zero or seven five now it's on seven five but that's weird. But yeah in your autopilot menu whatever's box that's whatever mode it's on. So if it's on heading then it's uh sometimes it will actually be on heading but it won't be actually like really on heading because you didn't actually type it in or you didn't give it a heading. Go to the if that makes yeah. sense. <laughs> system for the turn like that. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Grant, I, I do like manually flying too sometimes, but it's just like manually flying. If you're if you go that route you really do have to stay manually flying, you know? Like yeah. it's, it's a flying manually lead is just as hard as flying B because they're you're paying just as much attention to your you know all your instruments and whatnot as the means are to you. For, for things like this, though, I I definitely encourage autopilot use. Unless you're like just trying to mats ass or something, you know. Yeah. Like, I've been on autopilot a long time. There's just that one weird little thing. Like, it was on heading slide, but it was just in a slight little bank. Yeah, you, I think by default, if you just select heading select without FPH or like F, flight path and attitude roll, that's going to control your elevation. Then, Heading select if it doesn't have a heading to go to, it's just going to default to keeping the wings uh, not like chasing a heading, but it will just keep the wings like in whatever bank angle they're currently at. So, like if a rollout wasn't completed or something like that, and the heading all was selected, but, like, you know, heading, you know, what well, was really weird about it is I could roll it out to a perfectly level and then let off the stick and then go right back to that little bit of turn. That's what was weird. Well, well, in autopilot mode, you really shouldn't be touching the stick or all that. Like, it'll only confuse the system. But, um, yeah. like, it, it's going to be, like, 
it's always for me like if I want to make a turn to like zero three zero I'm just gonna type in zero three zero the heading and then after that I'm like I'm not really gonna touch the stick or anything <laughs> like. Say three seven zero. Uh, two seven zero. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a plus. is in here. User was moved hey, what up? Uh, We're going to make America great again. Yeah. Well, you can do it the first time. We're going to build a wall and we're going to keep everyone on the side. So. Uh, do you know what heading the barriers on the top? Uh, it's heading to the north, I know. So if you wanted to get behind it, it would be a left turn. Yeah, I'm gonna... Uh, we're in 
walking in the house, but I'm going to drive right there. Go ahead and go to tacking for the ship. Hopefully, I can actually hear you. Okay, yeah, cool. I forgot I didn't have any game. I don't know you did. And you won't burn it if you already if it's already pulling from your internals and your external still got gas. You're gonna crash before you ever see that gas. <laughs> oh, gotcha. I'm <laughs> great. I can get below trap weight. It's just getting rid of the 600 pounds. So that, that's the real key. But I am gonna keep dumping for right now. I have to burn off eight grand. Yeah. Just keep it burning or keep yourself dumping and, and you get rid of gas exponentially fast at lower altitudes. You'll be dumping all night long if you stay at 36. Yeah. 
In fact, you'll stay, you'll be dumping all night long if you stay above 10,000. <laughs> like, I'm at 600 feet right now, it wasn't 300 feet. I got real low to get rid of that gas. Like, snow speed or low. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, I got the carrier in sight. 13 miles out. I got my under minimum track weight, but I'm just gonna be a risk taker and land with uh, 600 pounds of gas in my eye. Uh... Yeah, you'll be alright. Uh, according to that eight ops, you're not supposed to land with more than 500 pounds of gas in one of those drop tanks because you don't want it sloshing around as you trap, you know? If you have more than that weight, the G-forces that it's gonna experience when it sloshes forward, could detach oh, that yeah. fuel tank. That makes really? sense. Yeah, I mean, you don't want those things skidding across the deck. That's why you want less than 500 pounds of gas. I think, though, in real life, we were having air like this, I'm pretty sure we would just go ahead and land it, you know? If it's 100 pounds overweight, that's probably a risk we'll be willing to take. I'm pretty sure they'd just be like, eh, just drop that tank, fuck it. Ooh, $30,000 a tank, I don't know. <laughs> they don't even let them drop them to chase down MIGs and stuff, like it's... <laughs> Here's what I would do then, I would like, I would get really low, really slow in an alpha, basically, and drop it in the water. <laughs> that might work. I have them cover it right next to the ship. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what I would do. Talent 310, 10 miles of needles. Uh, some way. In fact, you know what? If they get the ship moving fast enough, I'll do a high alpha right over the deck and drop it right onto a dolly. Yeah, I'll drop it right onto a dolly. Dang, I am not being precise. I see you guys out there. You're like 20 miles from the ship. I'm not seven miles. And 22 miles. I'm at 190 feet full burners and dumping. <laughs> it's still taking forever. Yeah. Oh, I'm not dumping anymore. Never mind. Well, what's your state? Uh, 9.4. Was your bingo set above that? I guess. Yeah. Uh, no, actually my bingo is 5.5, so uh, I don't know why it's not dumping anymore. Expected uh, final bearing is going to be about a 3.50. Oh, you know what? I just realized. Huh. I'm pulling... I have... Uh-oh. Yeah, my centerline fuel tank is completely full, and my two wing tanks have 1.2 thousand pounds in them right now. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's that's all I was saying. Like I don't like dumping. <laughs> I don't like activating my dump before I get there. But that's just for immersion. Like I said, though, real life, if you're 100 pounds overweight. That's I don't think they would. I think the risk of jettisoning it next to the ship would be greater, like damaging the tape and just trying to recover with it, you know? Like, I, I'm pretty sure 100 pounds of weight is going to be with it. Tolerance is for safety. Oh, yeah. But with that being said, though, Kitty, I would look at your fuel and look at your internal and external stores. How much do you have in each one? Yeah. Uh, let me see. The internal one is really important. Given your That's situation. Uh -huh. I don't have my ILS in the on. Ooh, I'm at 2.2 .2 right now. Yeah, so go ahead and land because you're never going to get that, that gas out of those tanks. Yeah. <laughs> I see Ross in front of me. Yep, I just pulled her. Talon 310 running them off 7.3. Talon 300 declaring fuel emergency. Yeah.
Yeah, your your jet will run out of gas with gas still in those tanks. Like a that is tank. some great a bullshit. Yeah. It doesn't do it though if you just had the center line. That's one of the, that's another big reason, a hidden reason that I'm such a fan of the center line. But, yeah, but that I is know. only if you have it loaded. In, or, yeah, you you have to have only a center line loaded. There we go. And oh my gosh, that was a two wire. Alternator is one mile. Rhino ball, 2.2 really, but 7.8. I'm still under track weight though, so that's good. You would still call 7.8 just because that's the, the tension they're putting on the cables for your jet. Yeah. Nice. Right. I'm coming back around. God. That was a nasty ass two wire. <laughs> Join the club for the night. <laughs> See him with night vision. I'm not going to bring out the 14 inches for this. Once I'm on deck, I use night vision. Also, there you go. Without immersion. Mile and a half, run a ball. Uh, 5.1. Rock ball, 30 knots. Center. Yeah, and then I lost it. A uh, little right like to line up. You're looking good. Still in a little power. Okay, you're on speed. Yep. Little fast. Yep, I got it. Crash and a little bit of flare. Boom! You actually don't flare, but you were at the proper AOA on touchdown. I saw the amber light. <laughs> yeah. Eight, eight and a half degrees, 1,000 foot vertical. Nice. 8.1 degrees is the AOA where you get a perfect amber donut. And then it's plus or minus one degree is uh, still an intolerance is for like a perfect, or it's still an amber donut. It's plus or minus one degrees is where you run into the green or the red arrows. Gotcha. Oop, I got my hydraulics going. I'm gonna call it a stream there, I think. Same. <laughs> With our Kenny's dogs going in there. Those weren't my dogs. <laughs> oh, those are your dogs? That sounds like Kenny's dog. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. All right, thanks for anyone who tuned in. And it was a fun little combat air patrol. We got all our jets back, plus Ross joined us. But, uh, yeah, I hope everyone has a good rest of your weekend, and uh, happy flying until next time.